Hi everybody, Simon here, Projects in the Barn. And you're catching me just walking down the lane from my house to the barn. We're gonna have a quick look at the Jag XKR. So the last couple of videos I've put out has been on the Porsche. I'm trying to sort of um, just get me Porsche serviced so I can start using it regularly. And that's going well so far. If you haven't seen those videos, Please go and check them out. What I thought I'd do, I've had a um, car cover I bought for the XKR a few weeks ago. Um, so I thought I'd come down here, see if it fits and put it on the car. Because it's getting really dirty inside the uh, barn. So, yeah, we're going to do that. So we're going to give the uh, XKR a bit of a wipe off. Because it's filthy dirty, there's no point putting the cover on a dirty car. Porsche and um, yeah we'll uh, see if the cover fits so um, we'll do that so I get it all open all right here it is look filthy day as I said before that's blown out because the wind I've yet to repair it I'm spending too much time working on my cars. So I've got my Jag here on a saxle stands. We're doing the um, inner wheel arches and the brakes. Uh, for those that haven't seen it or caught up, that's what we've been doing. So um, we found a little bit of corrosion inside the wheel arches. So I've uh, rust treated or ground it all back or cleaned it all back to nice shiny steel. And then I've put some uh, built hamber rust treatment on there, Hydrate 80. And I'm just throwing a bit of primer over it just to protect it. Until we do our um, urethane Raptor liner, we're going to do all up inside there. Let's give it a nice textured finish. Um, and yeah, so we're taking all the brakes off, gonna clean all them up, get all brand new brakes on there and go from there. But just for now, let's say we're going to um, give the car a clean and try my new cover which is over here on my rather untidy workbench currently for all sorts of reasons but this is the cover I got so it wasn't very expensive probably I can't remember now 20 or 30 pounds but I can put a link in the description below and that's what we're going to try and get fitted onto the XKR. Like I said, before we do that, we're going to give it a clean off because it is disgusting. And then we can uh, try to fit the cover on there. So we'll get the camera set up, give it a clean down and uh, try the cover. Which is, oh, I'm looking forward to doing that. And it'll just give it that bit of extra protection inside the barn whilst we're here working on it. So yeah, I'll get the camera set up and we'll give it a clean. Right, so what I'm going to do to start off with, I've got a real soft bristle brush here that you would use to wash the car with. This is by no means a video on how to clean a car. Definitely not. Um, I'm no car validator. But we're just going to quickly give it a once over. And what I'm going to be doing is dragging all the um, dirt and stones around the car. I'm going to get a quick brush off and I've got some um, waterless car wash stuff here. But you'd have seen from a couple of years ago now, I used it on the uh, XKR and it actually works really well. I just want to quickly brush off the worst of it so we're not dragging too much stuff about the car. Slightly going over it. So I've still not washed the car yet since I've owned it. It's a bit sad, really. I can't believe how long I've had this car. I'll say next month it'll be a year, believe it or not. May 2023 of all this. And 
I know loads of you now are probably cringing of what I'm doing, but it'll be fine. Don't worry. That's just a quick blow off. So you're normally down the garage or down the barn here. I've got the radio blasting some tunes, but copyright on YouTube. I can't do it. Maybe I'll have to produce my uh, my own music so we can get some tunes going while we're working. Everyone likes working with the radio on, right? What's the music going? Can't just be me. Feel free to fast forward this bit, it's pretty boring. <laughs> I'll say it is just dust, this, this brush is doing it no harm. Now I'm looking forward to actually cleaning the car properly. When we're getting somewhere near it, that time. So those that watch Wheeler Dealers, they don't ever clean the cars until they've finished all the jobs on them. I think there's something nice in that. It's like you're rewarding yourself at the end of all your hard work. Make it look special. What I've also been doing, so I've still not taken all the other brakes off yet, because of the difficulties I had on that front right. Uh, I've just been sort of regularly spraying it here with WD-40. Give me a uh, fighting chance when I come to remove them, which hopefully will be uh, doing that in the next couple of days. So the surfacing stuff on the horse is pretty much done. So we can uh, yeah, crack on with this, finish getting the brakes off, and clean up all the inside of the wheel arches. Which will be nice. Right. That's that bit. Still watching, well done. Then what we're gonna use is this uh, Top Gear waterless wash and wax, just to give it a bit of a once over. And you literally spray it on. And because it's nice and cool in here, if you're doing this outside, you can only put a little bit on and then wipe it off. But it's uh, nice and cool in here, so it's not gonna bake on. So we can just spray it on. Don't need too much. So the only thing with this stuff is you don't be dragging. If it's really dirty, wash the car. Let's say this is more covered in dust. So um, it's not gonna be too bad to wipe off. So we're only doing it quickly just to um, get the cover on. But this will give a nice bit of protection while it's down in there. Like that. And then, so the clean, dry cloth. Rub it in. I say, just keep changing the, well, 
swapping the cloth over, folding it over regularly. So if you have picked up any bits of dirt, you can see, just fold your cloth over and go again. I say it's great for this sort of stuff. Just gives it a nice quick clean. And I make it nice and smooth and slippery to put the cover on as well. Try not to lean on the car. And to do now for hoodies. Projects in the barn hoodies. So um, I've had a, a few made for friends and family. They all seem to like them. So yeah, I've got them for, well this is actually my good one, I've got some for uh, working as well. I've got a light grey one which I normally wear on the channel, which is now ruined, <laughs> covered in all sorts of oil and grime, dirt, never to be washed out again. I've got to say the paintwork on this is actually pretty decent. Considering it was stood for so long, and as I understand it stood about a cover on. It's fared pretty well. Feel it on the bonnet how dirty it is. As I've already said, this isn't the perfect way to wash your car. Just give it a bit of a clean over. Just we put the cover on. We're getting all the love at once once we've got it on the road. So I just don't want all the dirt going on the new cover when we put that on. Someone asked me a little while ago actually about the um, hoodies and I've got a couple of t-shirts and that done as well whether they're for sale <laughs> is merch and no they're not but you know if any of you would like one I'll happily order you one if you want to be part of the gang they're not a lot, about 14 quid or something, 15 quid. But yeah, as I said to them, if you'd like one, I'm perfectly happy to order you one for cost. I personally think they look pretty good. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure we can work something out. 
Can I just say, well done, if you're still here watching me cleaning the car. Early there. Bit of a work happening doing it this quick. So what we've got to do now is buff it off <coughs> with another clean cloth. I like using these microfiber towels just because they wash really well. So yeah, you can just throw it in the washing machine when you're done. And they do, you know, the stains don't really come out, but they do come back to life. Yeah, the car's definitely going to need some paintwork, I think, when we're done. There's just a few small areas here and there. I want some attention. Yeah, this bonnet's going to need a, a feel like the uh, grit in it. Definitely have to get your buffer out on that.
say for today's exercise, this will be fine. Okay, I'm just folding the cloth over. So you just don't be dragging any bits of grit around. Nearly there. Well done. If you're still with me. So yes, very quick clean. Have a look. That's quite all right, isn't it? Just for so for a super super quick once over. It's not too bad, does it? So it's only for the purposes of getting the car cover on. So the paint's not too bad. I think the roof, there's a tiny bit of rust on top of the roof. Which one's doing? It's a bit of a strange place, but just there. Just a little bit of bubbling, which needs doing. But all the places where you expect them to rust, it looks really good. Okay, happy with that. So definitely the bonnet wants a really good buff in. But for the purpose of today's exercise, It'll do. Right, so back to the cover. I can't remember what size I bought. Yeah, it's probably made in China somewhere. Oh, there we go. Look. Made in China. Um, oh, there you go. Large. You see that? 480 by 175 by 120. So let's get it out of the bag and see how it fits. All right, so first impressions, I would say it's pretty lightweight. Whether 
that'd be any good for actually an outdoor cover would be debatable but <coughs> what I'm after inside the barn we might be all right Get all of that slipping off. Oh, it's tight. Ah, it's just a bit twisted. I mean, I do have attractive door mirrors. Well, there we have it. I think for um, an indoor cover, I think that's perfectly acceptable. For outdoors, I would say it's probably too thin. I mean, you can see through the material. Um, you can see the Jag badge, you can even see the number plate through it. But for an indoor cover, I would say that's a really, really good fit. And I say all I want it for really is for essentially to keep the dirt off. Yeah, I say it would fit even better with the um, door mirrors retracted. All around the backlet. pleased with that. I say for a lightweight cover, um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good, don't you? Just to keep all the dirt and muck off of it. Well, there we have it. It's a pretty long video to talk about a car cover. That was mostly me washing the car or cleaning the car off so well done if you made it this far into the video um yeah looks all right done it so as i say congratulations if you um hello. let's take me light off if you made it that far into the video so just a quick review on that car cover uh, I'll pop the details in the description below if anybody would be interested in buying one. At least you know it will now fit. Although, as I say, I probably, well, I wouldn't recommend it for outdoor. Not Certainly not long-term outdoor use. It's definitely more for inside your garage as a bit of a dust sheet. Um, so, yeah. How weatherproof, waterproof, breathable it would be, I don't know. But if you wanted something outside, maybe get something a bit more reputable. Uh, but certainly for inside the barn, I'm happy with that. So there we go. Just another short video. Something else done in the XKR. At least I've washed it off, if nothing else. Um, so it looks a little bit better when I'm doing future videos. So anyway, if you did make it all the way through that video, 
and whilst all of me cleaning the cars well done you it's probably pretty boring um but yeah if you haven't yet subscribed i'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel um like i said i'm getting more and more into youtube and when you sort of check the analytics of the channel it is it's a very small portion something like 15 or 20 percent of people that watch the videos are subscribed everyone else is just sort of probably flicking through so if you are one of those people flicking through and you enjoy it just hit that subscribe button costs you nothing but works really well for the channel and keeps me going to put out more content so that's it from me like i say if you want to leave a comment please put a comment in the section below i do reply to every single comment that comes through to me good or bad if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and share it with like-minded fellow jaguar enthusiasts so from me simon products in the barn we'll see you next time around for some more xkr and other exciting stuff content see you soon everyone take care bye bye